Louisiana Beer Reviews, Southern Comfort, Paradise Punch, Tropical Orange Juice and Pineapple Flavor. Southern Comfort, the liqueur was introduced in 1874 and this is a 2021 collaboration with Anheuser-Busch and the owner of Southern Comfort, Sazerac Company. 5% alcohol, 215 calories per can. Woo. ComfortCollection.SouthernComfort.com. So it's on there, uh, but it's not listed on the Tap Into Your Beer and Eyes of Bush website. So it's only sold at this time in two states, Louisiana and Alabama. So Anheuser Bush might not be listing it because either it's just made for Sazerac for them to handle under the Southern Comfort brand, or there's not enough distribution that AB InBev wants to deal with it on their site. Whatever the case, 211th day of, I'm sorry, 113th day of 2021. VB, I think that's Virginia, I don't know, VB, 21 hours and 21 hours, 26 minutes. So not quite sure of the brewery. I think that's Virginia. I know there's Houston, Texas, Virginia. Jacksonville, Florida, St. Louis, Missouri, of course. Merrimack, New Hampshire. It's Los Angeles County, California. Natural flavors, caramel color, tropical orange juice and pineapple flavor. Tropical orange juice, pineapple flavor, okay. I don't know what a Paradise Punch is. I don't know if it's the same or different from a Planter's Punch or Plantation Punch. I don't know anything really about cocktails aside from the fact that they're popular and people drink them. Well, obviously they drink them if they're popular, but you know what I'm saying. And there's a radio show around here called Tales of the Cocktail. It's hazy. It looks like juice. I don't know about orange or pineapple, but that seems pretty appropriate. No head of foam, no lacing. There are two, at the time of this recording, there are two check-ins on Untapped. And I don't think it's going to grow too much on that site if the distribution doesn't expand. And you don't even have to bother looking on Beer Advocate and Rapier. It's not listed there. This 12-pack was $8.63 plus tax. $8.63 plus tax. Aroma, well, there's not really a whole lot of aroma. Maybe a little faint juiciness, but uh, not much there. Let's go with the taste. Everybody, all these beer companies now are making, what, cocktail-flavored beers. I'm trying to mimic, uh, you know, you got Cayman Jack and so forth. This, trying to mimic, um, well, cocktails. And then there's also around here in Louisiana a lot of uh, spirits-based, yes, like Monaco, liquor liquor based like cognac based um, rum vodka etc some states don't allow that um yeah it tastes like um, a juice mixture it's sweet Hoppy? <laughs> no, there's no bitterness. They, if it's a malt beverage, it'll contain hops, but they may not play any real role. Just they're gonna put hops, hop products in there to comply with the uh, regulations. But that's probably it. Very prickly carbonation. Very sugary, sweet, fruity. If there's a liquor taste, it's like if they were using cognac. Yeah, the other one, the lemon and lime was like cola mixed with whiskey. It was like they're adding a whiskey flavor. This is like they're using cognac. Don't think it's the Ouse. And it's not, they're not using cognac. I say it's a flavoring that would be reminiscent of that.
medium bodied, mostly dry finish. I forgot to talk about this in my um, Iron City City beer, but um, about the Cyclops scale. And this, the sweetness scale on Cyclops using that method, <laughs> four and a half out of five sugar cubes at least. Bitterness units, zero out of five hop cones. So if you don't like bitter products and you like sugary sweet products, this will be a A1, you know, a top shelf winner for you. If you hate beers that try to mimic cocktails, you're gonna hate this. I'm indifferent to them, where I used to be hostile to them 10 years ago, but I didn't really under, I didn't understand the concept I think that was the problem. I looked at it as some kind of like attack to undermine beer or some kind of like bad product that people were making for some like bad reason. But I don't think that's the case. It was just me being confused by the products. And yet they're often, more often than not, well made. Does that mean I'm going to start becoming a regular drinker of these as my standby drink? Not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to finish the 12 pack and share it and whatnot. But um, they're not bad as a standalone review, solo review, and then a duo review. They're fine. I mean, if you like these, buy it. I mean, but you're just drinking a lot of sugar and you're drinking a lot of calories, and I don't think that's good for you. But whatever you want to do, do it, I guess. But Maybe it'd be better over ice. It's got a little spiciness to it, tartness for sure from the fruit tiness. Overall, it's fine. It's just like the lemon and lime. It's it's an A. It's a that one was a 9.4, I believe. I said this is a 9.4. Most excellent product if you want to drink this type of product of which I do not want to drink. But anyway. Lazy Lay Bon Relay, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to An Anheuser-Busch, the, the Anheuser-Busch Brewery in St. Louis, Missouri, and take a tour.